Hey guys, Stanford here from Fun. Today we're 4481. We've got Yannick and Cornet. We're going to go through some of the awesome stuff they got on this robot. We're going to talk in their note journey, how they shoot stuff into both the speaker and the amp, their climber, and some of the software they use to power that. So stay tuned for all that and more in another episode of Behind the Buckets. This video on Fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Yannicka, take us through your note journey and your intake. Thank you. So um, on our robot, we have uh, an under the bumper intake, a storage system, and what we call a chamber system. We'll first start with the intake, which is laying over here so we can show it a bit better. Uh, this intake is run with uh, one Neo that we can attach here. And with this one Neo, we turn this axle and uh, with different belts and gears uh, behind this cap, all the rollers turn in the good direction. This makes that we can intake from uh, both this side and this side with the same setting. So uh, that really benefits us on the field. If we go to uh, our robot itself, the intake is way under here. And then um, through all these rollers, you can see them here, the node gets uh, guided to our uh, storage system. So when it's stored in the robot, it uh, sits here. And then we have our chamfer system with a rack and pinion pivot. Uh, here's uh, the pinion and the rack. And this allows us to make a full 90 degree turn, which is really helpful for our uh, amp scoring system. Yeah, we'll go on to that. This is our uh, chamfer. We came up with this idea in like uh, week one of build season and uh, it is a combination of a, a sure system and amp scoring system uh, because the node can uh, pass through here straight uh, to the speaker. So this is our sure system. These axles with uh, three inch tail grooves will uh, spin up and then we can uh, shoot it in the speaker. Uh, but when we invert this axle, the node will make a 180 degree turn and it will go out this way uh, yeah, to this side. And when this uh, chamfer is all the way up, we can uh, shoot it straight down into the amp, which really benefits us uh, because it's uh, far more accurate than trying to shoot it with a shooter system. And then for our climbing system, we have uh, two uh, climbers with a carriage and uh, polycarbonate uh, hoops. The polycarbonate is uh, really flexible, so uh, it won't break, and this really helps us with uh, fast climbing without uh, breaking. So creating a very like integrated subsystem like this takes a lot of prototyping, at least it usually does. Um, so what's your guys' approach to prototyping for a subsystem like this? Okay, so it took uh, quite a long time before the notes arrived. So we had time to really make uh, proper prototypes in the first days of build season. Uh, we laser cut uh, some uh, wood side plates for uh, our shooter. Uh, and actually, uh, we immediately built a system that looked like this, but with a lot more axles. Uh, and we saw that it really worked. And then uh, the amp system was really well working, but our shooter had some issues because we were uh, not sure where to put the rollers and the wheels. And we uh, finally ended up with a system with um, only uh, wheels on one side of the shooter because this adds spin to our node, so the, the, the guy, so it guides it. Uh, through the air a bit better. This uh, makes us shoot more accurate, um, but it loses some thrust. So we cannot shoot as far away from the speaker, but we can still uh, shoot really accurate with this system. Well, thank you very much. These guys have been very effective out on the field at the Port Wyneme Regional here. And now we're gonna go through some of the software that's powering this machine. So go ahead and take it away. Yeah, so for this year, we knew our robot was gonna be a bit complex. So we wanted to make a robot that was simple to control for the drivers. And we did this by automating a lot of stuff. So for example, our intake is just pressing one button on the controller and then the intake it takes it in and uh, takes a note in and puts it in the correct place in the storage. Currently not working because it's on the 
for the start. Um, yeah, so, and then when it's in the storage, um, it, it's, it's firmly in there. And then once you shoot, you press the shoot button, the pivot will turn up, the speeds, the wheels will spin up, and then uh, position itself automatically to the correct orientation. And, and then when it's ready to shoot, it shoots. And then same for amp, it will go to the right position, spin the wheels up to the correct speed, and then once it's ready, it will put it in the amp, um, which works really well for us. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Uh, can we get this thing on the ground? Maybe see how the notes go through it. All right, so now our intake is on and we can just really push it in so the touch and only effects really is accomplished with this intake. And as you can see, it is now stored here, uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's really tight there, so it cannot go anywhere. And when we move up the chamfer, can you move it up? <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the note makes a 180 degree turn and immediately drops straight down to the ground. Thank you guys for allowing us to come by and check out this awesome machine. Uh, these guys have been killing it here at the Port Wine Regional. Definitely one of the teams to look out for at Ventura next weekend and hopefully championships. So thank you very much and good luck out in the field. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.